Let us see how to construct special quadrilaterals, one of which is a rhombus. Before we start with the construction, let us recall some of the properties of rhombus. Since a rhombus is a parallelogram, it has all the properties of the parallelogram, which are opposite sides are parallel and equal, opposite angles are equal, diagonals bisect each other. But then rhombus has certain unique properties of its own, which are all sides are equal. So AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. And diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. So AC and BD bisect each other at 90 degrees. Now, since they bisect, that means OC is equal to OA and OB is equal to OD. We are going to use these properties, especially this one, since more often we are given the diagonals and we need to construct a rhombus from it. Let us see one example. Construct a rhombus ABCD where AC is 4.8 and BD is 6 cm. Let's draw the rough diagram. We have the rhombus ABCD where AC is one of the diagonals which is 4.8. BD is the other diagonal which is 6 cm. Now since we are only given the diagonals, we would be using one of these as the base. So let's keep it to one side and start with the construction. So, we can choose either one of the two. We can choose AC or BD. So, let us choose BD over here. We draw the diagonal BD just 6 cm using pencil and ruler. So, we have a pencil, a ruler and we will just make a line of 6 cm and this is our BD. Next, since we know that the, per, uh, the diagonals of a rhombus are bisecting perpendicularly. So, if I just construct a perpendicular bisector of this line BD, I would get a line over here and AC would be a part of it. AC is actually the perpendicular bisector of BD. So, I just need to construct a perpendicular bisector of BD. So, we will construct a perpendicular bisector of BD using compass and mark the intersection point as O. In order to construct the perpendicular bisector, we keep our compass at B and open it to more than half the length of BD. Now we do not need to measure it. We can just make a guess of this is approximately half of BD. So you can open your compass over till over here or over here. And then once we do that, we make one arc above this line and one arc below this line. Like this. We do the same with D. We keep a compass at D, make one arc above the line, keeping the same radii. Okay. And one arc beneath like this. Now we have two points and we'll just draw a dotted line passing through them. And this is the perpendicular bisector of BD. The intersection point is O over here. Now we know that diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other perpendicularly. So this is what the diagonal is. Not exactly, we will make the diagonal out of it. Diagonal will be a part of this line. Now since OC is equal to OA, so that means it is half AC. AC is 4.8, so half of which is 2.4 centimeters. Now what we can do is, we can keep our compass at O and make two arcs, OC and OA, both equal to 2.4. So let's measure 2.4 centimeter and now keeping the compass at O, let's make one arc over here, which is our C point and one arc over here which is A. Last what we need to do is join A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. And we get A, B, C, D which is the required rhombus. Let us also try to construct a square. Again let's recall the properties of square. These are some of the properties of a parallelogram and a square is a parallelogram so it has these properties. Opposite sides parallel and equal, opposite angles equal, diagonals bisect each other. Apart from these, a square has all sides equal. AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to DA. And the diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at 90 degrees. So something which differentiates it from the rhombus is that its diagonals are equal. Now let us see one example. We need to construct our square ABCD with diagonal 4.8 cm. Now we are given only one diagonal. But that's not an issue because both the diagonals are equal. So let's draw a rough sketch. We have ABCD. We have the diagonals 
intersecting at O and the length is 4.8. Let's keep it to one side. Now, since we are given only one dimension, we'll take it as our base. So, draw the diagonal BD using pencil and ruler. We make a line of 4.8 cm. This is BD. Next, what we need to do is the same process. Draw the perpendicular bisector of BD using compass and mark the intersection point as O. So, we'll follow the same procedure. Make one arc at from B, one above the line, one below the line. Same goes for D. We'll make two arcs like this and we'll join them. This is our perpendicular bisector. The intersection point is O. Same process would follow, which is that the diagonals of square are equal and bisect each other. So if BD is 4.8, AC is 4.8 as well. And AO is half of AC. So half of 4.8 is 2.4. So once again, we open our compass to a length of 2.4, keep it at O, make two arcs, one above, which will be OC, and one below, which will be OA both of 2.4 centimeters each. Next, we'll join AB, BC, CD, DA. ABCD is the required square. 